What's going on guys, Saga Plays here coming at you with a, another Nintendo Switch video and it has been a week. I finally got a mic, it's the Razer Siren X so hopefully my audio quality will be better. And then also as you can see, I got Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and we'll be playing through that till, uh, till pretty much when we finish it. But I will also be trying... I'll pretty much uh, be playing this continuously, so like, I'll try and get one video out per day, but like, some, I'll probably be recording back-to-back -back videos for some days because classes and my finals are pretty much starting next week, not tomorrow, but starting the week after, so who knows, but let me close that and let's get into Brilliant Diamond. I had been looking forward to this game, and people have already uh, released videos on it. It and pretty much, I'm going to try and get as many Pokemon, no, Pokemon um, during the main story. So I mean, my let's get to setup first. I completely forgot about this, but yes, English. But yeah, I mean, I. I found that I could get Mewtwo and Jirachi during the main story, so that's what I'll be doing, and I'll be pretty much picking up my starter today, so let's see how far as we get. Professor Rowan. This world is wisely inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. Humans live alongside Pokemon as friends. At times, we play together, and at other times, we work together. Some people use their Pokemon to battle and develop closer bonds with them. What do I do? I conduct research so that we may learn more about Pokemon. Now, why don't you tell me a little bit about yourself? Alright. I'll just be going by Saga. Because that's the first part of our first name. Pretty much almost my first name. But I am Saga Plays on YouTube. So we'll be going with that. A fine name that is. Now this boy here. I believe he's your friend. What might his name be? If I re remember it was Barry. Barry is it? That's your friend's name? Yes. I remember his name was Barry from the anime, so... Alright, Saga, the time has come. Your very own tale of grand adventure is about to unfold. On your journey, you will meet countless Pokemon and people. I am sure that along the way, you will discover many things, perhaps even something, about yourself. Now go on and leap into the world of Pokemon. Usually if I was playing this by myself, I would kind of skip through the dialogue, but since this is for YouTube, going through it once at a time. Despite the exploration team's best effort, the rare, rare oddly colored Pokemon eluded detection. The rumored red Gyarados failed to appear, even fleetingly to the crestfallen team. That concludes our special report, Search for the Red Gyarados. Brought to you by Jubilee TV on Nationwide Net. See you next week. Same time. Ah, that was too fast. But I believe that was same time. Same day, I believe. Oh, look. There's even a Switch there. That's nice. It's the latest game console Nintendo Switch. That's nice. Ah. Hmm. If I... Bear, saga, Barry came calling for you a little while ago. I don't know what it is about, but he said it was an emergency. I believe that's the character design of Don's mom from the anime. But let's go see. Oh yeah, Saga, don't go into the tall grass while Pokemon might attack you. It would be okay if you had your own Pokemon, but you don't, so... Let us begin. And sorry if you guys are hearing my remote controller. It's right. I'm pretty much right next to my mic. So 
you'll be hearing that a lot, but technology just blows me away. I mean, now you can play with people around the world wirelessly. He's probably talking about the Switch, but yeah. Twin Leaf Town, fresh and free. Let's go see where Barry is. Hi, Asaga. Barry was looking for you. I think he's home now. Why don't you go and check? So, oh. Alright. Okay. So one of his houses is right behind. Alright. Can I? Yep. Barry's house. Whoa. The, what was that about? Oh, hey, Asaga. I'm going to the lake. You should come too and be quick about it. Okay, Saga, I'm finding you one million Poke Dollars, I believe. I'm not sure, but I'll call them Poke Dollars. One million do Poke Dollars if you're late. Oh, geez, forgot something. Guess I'll get to the leak for him, but there's nothing else there except a girl. Oh, for. Same dialogue, all right. So I guess I may need to go into Barry's house and see. Or the lake's like the opposite way. Yeah, I think lake's the opposite way. So down towards here. Or to the left, nope. Nope, where is this lake? Do I have to head upstairs? Because I don't think I can go anywhere else for the time being. So, let's go upstairs to Barry's room. There we go. I better take my bag and guidebook too. Oh, oh hey, Asaga. We're going to the lake. I'll be waiting on the road. It's a 10 million Poke Dollar fine if you're late. He charged me 10 times the amount before. <laughs> All right. Let's get going. So I think the lake he's talking about is the one right here. No, that's like a pond, I think. So I guess oop, we head out. Yep, now I can go. Route 201. Yeah. Hey, uh, you saw that news report that was on TV, right? You know, search for the Red Gyarados, the mysterious appearance of the furious Pokemon in a lake. That show got me to thinking. I'll bet our local lake has a Pokemon like that in it, too. So that's what we're going to do. We'll go find a Pokemon like that. Alright. Oh, he's falling. Alright. Verdi Lakefront. Yep. This Lake of Emotions, I think that's the lake we're supposed to go. So, like, let's find the right Gyarados. Yeah, because the other way was, like, where wild Pokemon would spawn. Professor, there isn't anything out of the ordinary on the other side either. Hmm? I may have been mistaken. Something appears to be different than it was before, but fine. It's enough that we have seen the lake. Don, we're leaving. Professor, how are you enjoying being back in Sinnoh? After being away for four years, it must be exciting again. Hmm, there's one thing I can say. There are many rare kinds of Pokemon in Sinnoh. The region should serve us very well in regard to our studies. Excuse me, let us pass, pass please. I beg your pardon, we'll be on our way. Alright. I can already tell he left his bag. What was that about, those two? Huh? Saga, let's go check this out. What's that? Don't go into the tall grass? No problem, no problem. We won't be in there long enough for a wild Pokemon to come out. He is wrong. It's a briefcase. Those people forgot it here. What are we supposed to do with it? 
we can try to return it, but who were they? I heard them say professor. And we're attacked by a regional bird. What? P Pokemon? What's going on? Look, these are Pokeballs. Let's battle using the Pokemon in them. Which one do you want? Turtwig? No. Chimchar. The Chimp Pokemon, Chimchar. No. The Penguin Pokemon, Piplup? No. Chimchar. Oh, I just didn't know again. Oop. Yes. I'm going to be picking Chimchar as my starter, so... We'll be seeing what moves he got, but he probably has the basic moves of every starter. Their type for Chimchar would be Ember plus like a Tackle Battle. Oh, no, not even an Ember. Scratch, then. Chim Oof. But yeah, pretty much my team usually consists of starter which will be chimchar plus um plus a, the regional board, bird which is starly usually i always have those two whenever i start a pokemon game so pretty much we'll be getting those but in a when we visit one of the first towns i'll be able to get a mew and a jirachi because i have the save files of uh pokemon let let's go pikachu and Sword, and sword. so I'll have those copy. I have those save file copies, so I'll be able to get them. Drachi is linked to... Uh, Drachi is linked to... Uh, ma, to Sword and Shield save files, and uh, Mewtwo is linked to Let's Go Pikachu or Let's Go Eevee save files. So you only have to have either one of those games to obtain that Pokemon. Oh, there's the briefcase. The presser would have been furious if I'd lost it. Huh? Oh no. Did you use the Pokemon that were in here? You did? Oh my gosh. What's the professor going to say? This is not good. I'll take this briefcase for now. What was that about? I don't know what's going on, Saga. Let's go out of here. My Pokemon got hurt from that battle. If we get attacked by another Pokemon, we might be in trouble. But as you guys can already tell, the audio is not working. I don't know why, but Razor Cap the Razor Ripsaw capture card is not letting me do audio. I'm not too sure if it's because my laptop's not powerful enough or my settings are messed up, but right now it's not audio, but I will be talking a lot. But let's see how far we can get today, because pretty much over 10 minutes has gone by of just purely nothing, just getting a chimchar. Professor Rowan, hey, it's those people. Is that old guy staring at us? Hmm, I heard from Dawn that you used our Pokemon. Let me see them, please. Hmm, chimchar and Piplup. Hmm, I see. That's how it is. Don, I'm going to back to my lab. So I guess we keep our Pokemon. Um, uh, okay, Professor, please wait for me. I think you should visit our lab later. Okay, see you. Alright, once I'm able to check my Pokemon, like, in the, in the all six Pokemon columns, I th I'll be able to get Manaphy, which is a mystery box. And that expires in February, so... Sago, we should go home too. So I'll be getting that right after I handle all this sto main story, like early main story where it's majority cutscenes or dialogue. What's up, dear? Wow, I can't believe that happened to you. Am I ever glad that both you and Barry are unharmed? The professor you mentioned is most likely Professor Rowan of Sanjun Town. I've heard that he is well known for his studies on Pokemon. I hear he he's also quite intimidating. Saga, I think you need to visit him in Sand Gem Town. You need to properly explain why you had no choice but to use his Pokemon. Don't worry, I'm sure he will understand. Oh, I know, Saga. I know. Saga, put these on. You received a pair of running shoes. Going to Sand Gem Town is like an adventure in itself, right? With those running shoes, you can get to oh, get to faraway places much faster. Okay, let me read the instructions. 
tilt the left stick firmly and dash about faster than ever before. Put on the running shoes and blaze new trails of adventure. Well, isn't that just nifty? All right. So let's see if I can. Oh, yeah. That's pretty much just putting me at running speed. But let me see if I have to go back into Barry's house for any dialogue. Upstairs. Nope. All right. So I guess we just head to Sand Gem Town. Ooh, ah. <laughs> These running shoes are fast. All right. But wait, before that, let me see. Oh, I cannot pull up. Wild Pokemon lurk in tall grasses. They can come bursting out at any time. So if you're wanting to battle Pokemon, battle wild Pokemon, just walk into tall grass. If you want to avoid wild Pokemon, then stay out of the tall grass. Okay. Trainer tips. Don't be shy. Talk to everyone. All right. That's just pretty much saying talk to everyone, but anything over here or no? Yeah. Okay. It's just the lake front. Yeah. I don't think there's really anything big on the first... If your Pokemon health is... All right, that's just tips. And yeah, I don't think... Uh, I don't think any Pokemon will spawn. You know, because I can't pull up, like, the main me the menu. But I did obtain potions. Sweet. So. All right. Selection is one way. Jump down for a shortcut to Twin Leaf Town. Okay, yeah, but I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna get attacked by any Pokemon until after I officially get uh, Chimchar, Sand Gem Town. Oh, there you are. Please come with me. The professor is waiting. This is our it, our Pokemon research job. Let's go. Duh. Again with the thudding, Barry. Oh, what the? Oh, it's you, Saga. The old guy. He's not scary so much as he's totally out there. Ah. Uh, it doesn't matter, Saga. I'm out of here. See you later. So I guess Barry got his piplup. Wow, that what was that? Your friend seemed friend sure seems to be really impatient. Well anyway, let's go inside. Alright. Finally you've come, Saga. Was it? Let me see that Pokemon again. Hmm, I see. This Pokemon seems to be rather happy. Alrighty then, I'll give that Chimchar to you as a gift. Now that it's yours, would you like to give it a nickname? No, I never nicknamed my Pokemon. Your friend Barry told me what happened at the lake. I heard you battle very well, despite it being your first time. And from what I can see, there is a growing bond between you and that Pokemon. Though it is still young. That's why I, should, I would like to entrust Chim you with Chimchar. I'm so glad that you're kind toward Pokemon. If it weren't, if you weren't, I'd have to. Oh, I just can't say it. She'd probably say beat me up or something. <laughs> Let's move on to the main topic. There is something I want you to do for me. My name is Rowan. I study Pokemon. First of all, I want to know exactly what kinds of Pokemon live in the Sinnoh region. To do so, it is necessary to collect data using the Pokedex. This is what I wish to ask of you. I want to entrust you with this Pokédex. Will you use it to record data on all Pokémon in the Sinnoh for me? In Sinnoh for me? Yes. Hmm. Good answer. If I said no, I'd probably still be given it. Not too sure. That Pokédex is very is a very high tech device. It will automatically record data on every kind of Pokémon you encounter. Saga, I ask that you go everywhere and meet every kind of Pokémon in this region. I've got one too. When you walked up Route 201 with your Pokemon, what did you feel? I've lived for 60 long years. Even now, I get a thrill when I'm with a Pokemon. Now you should know that there are countless Pokemon in this world. That means there are just as many thrills waiting for you out there. Now go, Saga. Your grand adventure begins right now. The Pokemon that I used for the first time was Turtwig. 
if you would have chosen Turquoise Twig at the lake, we'd have the same Pokemon. Not likely. Not that it matters, but anyways, I'm done. I also helped the professor add pages to the Pokedex. So in a sense, I'm just like you. I just got a little head, a little head start from on you. That's all. I'll be happy to teach you things. Glad to meet you, Saga. All right, let's get out of here. Oh, Saga, I'll act as your mentor. <laughs> I've got a bit more experience than you as a trainer and as professor's assistant. Okay, follow me. This building, so Pokemon Center figures, is a place that heals Pokemon that have been hurt in battle. You can find a Pokemon Center in most towns. Whew. There's a lot of dialogue in the beginning. The blue roof is, here is the Pokemon. Oop, sorry. It's a shop where you can buy and sell items and medicine. So I guess since you're a novice trainer, you won't be able to buy many kinds of merchandise. Don't let it bother you. Sorry, I'm just slightly adjusting my mic so that... All right, there we go. All right, so that's right, Saga. You don't need to let your no family know that you're going to be helping Professor Rowan with the Pokedex. You may need to travel pretty far, so I think you, sh you should let someone know. Oh, but before you go, heal up your Pokemon at the Pokemon Center. It will be a lot less scary that way. Okay, bye now. Alright, so let's go heal up Chimchar. Hello, and welcome to the Pokemon Center. Restore Pokemon. Would you like to restore your Pokemon? Yeah, I'm just going to skip through pretty much normal dialogue. That's not a part of the main story, but yeah. Alright, so we got full view of Chimchar. Alright, let's see how, how far I can get today. In today's video but I'll probably try and get uh, 219 all right Ooh. antidote yeah I'll try and get as far as I can but at least today I want to try and get to Mewtwo and such but let me see if I can pull up the main menu here we go Ah, I can't do mystery gifts yet, but I will say if wrong one. There we go. Yes. All right. I've encountered two Pokemon, Chimchar and uh, Starly. But I guess I'll tell my mom, my mom first before anything. And I guess I can out battle those trainers. Take a quick rest, dear. Oh, pff. okay. Guess that healed. What's up, Saga? Wow, Professor Rowan asked you to do something that big. Okay, dear, go for it. Your mom's got your back. Oh, I know, Saga. I've got something that you'll find useful. The guidebook. Guidebook's in my bag. That's a guidebook. Take a look at it when you are curious about something or have questions. During your adventure, you may find an answer. Gee, a journey full of adventure. I envy you, kiddo. Plus, you're not alone. You have your Pokemon with you. I wish I could go instead. I'm just joking, Saga. I'll be alright by myself, dear. So you go and enjoy your adventure. When you're exposed to new things and experience experience new sensations it makes your mother happy too but please come back sometimes i would like to see the kinds of pokemon you've caught dear all right is my little berry here oh no he's not oh then he must have left already what to do that boy shouted about going on an adventure then he bolted wow berry is very energetic not to worry, Saga will deliver that to him. Won't you, Saga? Oh, really? you do that for me? Saga, please take this to Barry for me. Parcel. Alright. 
Bye bye, Saga. Enjoy your adventure. Let me think. Knowing my boy, he would probably head straight for Jubilee City. Okay, please take that to my Barry. Alright, first stop is Jubilee City. Ooh, oh, Saga. You're forgetting something important. I finally got the hat. Finally. Alright, yes. That hat always did suit you well, Saga. Now, off you go. Alright, I changed my position a bit. Sorry if you guys heard any noise, but... Can I pull up a map or... No. I can't pull up a map, but... Hopefully I'll... I can do that at some point. Oh, wow. That's fast. Starly. Alright. Back. Let me see. No Pokeballs. Dang. If I had a Pokeball, I'd catch this Starly right now. Alright. The attack power fell, but who cares? It's almost dead. Ouch. And that'll kill it. Yeah, if I had Pokeballs, I'd catch this Starly right here and now. But nope. I have not acquired any Pokeballs yet, which sucks. But I did want to chat this boy. Oh, okay. He started moving, so I thought I could battle him now. But I guess not. Yeah, I don't think any of them will let me battle them. Oh. I guess another... Oh, Bidolf. Or... Yeah, Bidoof. Yeah, I do need to catch a Bidoof, mainly because, like, a lot of the videos I've seen currently have a Bidoof using them for, like, a rock, for rock smash plus sir, to ride on in the water, so I'll be catching a Bidoof as, like, transportation type Pokemon, <laughs> but I'm not sure if I would use them in gym battles or anything, but yeah. All right, that'll kill him. Well, Bidoof fainted. If I had Pokeballs, I'd be catching some of these Pokemon. Alright, stats going up. Alright. Gymshark grew to level 6. Learned... F There's the Ember. Ah. Yeah. Alright. Let's get to Jubilee City. Let me heal up that Chimchar mine first. Yes, even though I did level up, it's just better to have a fully healed Pokemon before going out. Mainly because you don't know what you'll encounter, but what's up here? Okay. Oh, Coliseum, I think. Okay. I didn't know there was a Coliseum, but... Mm. I think that's where I go for online play battles. So once I get get ready for online, I'll be going there. Ooh. All right, I went through this. That's where I got the antidote, if I remember. But yeah. All right, let's go to Jubilee City. Route two hundred two. There is Don. Oh, that's right. Saga, I haven't shown you how to use, to catch a Pokemon. I'm demonstrating how to catch one, so just watch me, okay? <laughs> Bidoof. Alright. Guess I'm battling the Turtwig. Tackle. All right. So I guess after this, I'll be getting Pokeballs. Sorry for a Pokeball. All right. Use. One, two, 
three stars. Gotcha. Haha. -ha. Even though its health was still in the green, it's early game, so. Alright. A Pokemon also gets easier to catch if you make them sleep or something by using a Pokemon's move. Okay, Sokka, to get started, I'll give you some Pokeballs. Finally. Pokeballs in your Pokeball bag. If you have lots of Pokemon with you, it'll be safer on long trips. Plus, it'll be a lot more fun having your Pokemon friends along. Okay, I need to get going. Bye now. Alright. So before that, let me see. Okay, guidebook parcel. You're supposed to deliver it to your who left Twin Leaf. Ooh. Ah, guidebook. All right, Pokedex. So I mean, oh wow, only thirteen. I guess it'll go as I catch. But, yeah. Send boxes, you know, give nicknames, don't. Geoscope. Right. Yes, uh, this is just to skip me giving nicknames to Pokemon. I don't, I never do that, so. Alright. Shinx, sweet. I'll try and catch it. Yeah, I'd be catching. I usually catch a bunch of Pokemon before I settle down on like a uh, set. Let's see if I can catch it. Did I just use Leer? Yeah. I was going for Ember. We've hit past the thirty-minute mark, but let's tr see. I'll probably go for an hour in this video, mainly because it's the beginning. There wasn't much. To do so all right I'm just gonna go for one more attack but hey usually I try and get like male Pokemon but who cares uh, X Shinx with Intimidate is fairly good, I'd say. So, there we go. After three rocks, it's guaranteed stars. Unless it's like a legendary Pokemon. Alright, 33. Female Shinx. Added to the party. Good. But I don't know if I'm going to be keeping this Shinx. But oof. I need to catch the Bidoof. Ooh. I think a number. Who cares? I can catch more Bidoof in the beforehand. But, yeah. So, I mean, I'm going to try and get... Uh, Get Jirachi and Mew today plus plus uh let my bird. All right, ha. Huh. All right. Youngster Tristan. Starly. Yeah, I do need to catch my regional bird. I always have that at the end when I become champion in other games. Crit. Sweet. Tackle. One more ember should kill it. That'll do it. Alright. Yep. So I'm pretty much to in order for me to get Mew and Jirachi, I have to go to Floroma Town, and I just gotta talk to NPCs till I find them. So, 
don't know where that is because I don't have a map and I should probably look into the guidebook to see if that is the map. So, Jubilee City, back, guidebook, use, guidebook, menu, oh, it's not, there's no map whatsoever. Yeah, it's no map, X for the menu, R to save, more functions as your adventure continues, all right, yeah. That guidebook right now is useless for me. And battle. Alright. Last Natalie. A bit of. Yeah, after this battle, I'm just probably going to head back to the Pokemon Center in order to heal up. So. Just in case. Because I my gym char is almost dead. So. And I do not like losing. Losing any Poke Dollars. So. Uh, keep. Two Bidoofs. Wow. Oh, wow. Wow. Oh, growl. Okay. That won't matter because the scratch can kill it. Alright. We do fainted. I win. And let's get back to the Pokemon Center. Level up. Even that level up. I'm still going back to the Pokemon Center. It just... Gives me some reassurance that I know I got full health for my Pokemon. So, Oop. down. Oop. Oh man. What is, oh, it's Starly. Alright. Hopefully, I can catch this. I'll scratch it first. Okay. Yeah, all right. Screw it. I'm just gonna kill it for the XP, and then, uh, and then just rush back to the Pokemon Center. I'll can I can catch the Starly next time. Yeah. Since I'm like towards the beginning, Starly and Bidoof should be fairly common. I'll try and catch them. All right. L and Z. To the city. All right. Just kind of running, running. Oh, yeah. Usually I kind of like to run in the grasses to make sure that there's no, like, any Pokeballs lying around that has stuff. So, all right, Chimchar's attack fell, Ember, all right, the Shinx fainted, yep. so usually this episode I won't probably push past more than an hour long, but if it's like grinding, I'll do that off screen on my own time. But if I'm grinding and I end up going to what gang in front of a gym, I'll stop there and record the gym battle and everything. So yeah, pretty much it'll be very questionable on like content wise, but I'll, any grinding will be done off screen or on screen depending on how far we are but any videos i'll tr probably be getting at like one hour mainly because pokemon does take is a time based game 
and I'll try and beat the game under 24 play time hours. So, I mean, in the save file, it will show, like, how much time you spent playing the game in total. So, before I made it 22 hours and 30, it, around 22 hours, 30-ish, around 30 minutes, I pretty much beat the game in that much time in-game time. So, hopefully, Jubilee City, here we are. So yeah, you were catching, I think you'd feel a lot safer if you catch some more. Jubilee, there's a trainer school, which, well, you know, you should visit. I'll give you some tips on Pokemon. Brandon wants to trainer school earlier. Okay, bye now. All right, so since we're at Jubilee, I'll, I'm pretty much going to try and catch, like, original bird or a uh, Bidoof. Starly. I know I could catch the Starly earlier, but, I mean, XP is XP. That kind of helps my Pokemon grow, but let's see. I want to try and catch a male Starly. I don't know why, but, oof, wow. But yeah, I'll try and catch a male Starly, but it don't matter me. I just like to try and have the same consistency in gender because the blue kind of blends in with the bulb, the Pokemon bubbles. I'm not sexist or anything. I'm not trying to be sexist or anything. I mean, I have a female Shinx, so oh, another Shinx. All right. I will defeat you, Shinx. Okay, one hit. Didn't, was not expecting that, but who cares? Chimchar levels up, so does the Shinx. Chimchar learned Taunt. Alright, Shinx grew. But yeah, I'm going to try and get the Starly and Bidoof before I give Barry... Bidoof, yay. Because Bidoof will also serve as my water type on the team, so that'll be useful. Alright, Leer. I'm not going to try and kill it, because that would be bad. Alright. Scratch. Hopefully the scratch does not... Hurt him too bad. Yeah, that'll do it. And then I will... Nope. X. Pokeball. Two. Three. Stars. Yeah. Sweet. After I catch the Starly, I'll head to the Pokemon school. But I believe I'll be getting... Uh, be getting Jirachi and Mew next episode. Or off screen. Not too sure yet. But yeah. I'll be getting those sometime. But let me aim for a Starly. And we can continue on with the story. And that's a bit of. Hacha. Ember to one. Oh, that wasn't one hit. At least it got burned. All right, so that burn brings it down a little bit, but the scratch should do it. All right, that'll do. Come on, Starly, please be a Starly. Yay. All right. I'm just going to scratch it. Hopefully that does not kill it. Okay. That brings it down to yellow. And I will throw the Pokeball. Hopefully this Starly will. One. Two. Three. Yep, that's a catch. Sweet. Got my regional bird. So let us continue the journey. 
start release data, added. Usually I try and keep a flying type, mainly because like if my opponent is a ground type user, then I got some uh, some protection from that. There's a Pokemon Center. Yes. Two, three, four. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah. All right. Let us begin. No, I accidentally spammed my A button too much. But let's go to the Pokemon School. Is this it? Trainer School. Yep. Figures it's right next to the Pokemon Center. Barry. Saga, do you come to study too? I went ahead and memorized everything that was up on the blackboard. After all, it's the trainer's job to avoid having their precious Pokemon hurt in battle, right? So, Saga, what brings you here? You've got something for me? Delivered the parcel. So, what is this? Score, it's a town map, huh? Why are there two in here? I like it, I like it a lot, but I need, don't need two. Here, Saga, you take one. Finally, I got the town map. Now I know where Loroma Town is. Well... According to the town map, I guess Orberg City is where I should be going next. There's a gym, so it's perfect for raising the Pokemon I just caught. Well, I'm on the road to become the greatest trainer of all time. See you around. Alright, let's get out of here. And... Oop, that's options. Town map. So... Loroma Town is just up ahead, which is nice. But I'm just making sure there's no other paths. Oh. I'm sorry, the GWS isn't ready yet. Alright, so I guess I can't go there yet. Oh. More interaction. Oh, you are a Pokemon trainer, but you don't have a Poketap. Etch yet. Poke yet. Poke etch is a short for Pokemon Watch. Oh my, you are a rare case indeed. I see. You see, I invented and now manufacture Poke etches. Not only that, I am now conducting the Pokemon promotional campaign. All you have to do is find three clowns in Jubilee City. If you can find them, I'll give you your very own Poke etch. Three clowns. Do you know how much about Pokemon? Yes, I see you're quite well versed. I imagine you would. You wouldn't see the need to visit the trainers, but do you visit? Do visit. You may discover something new. All right, yeah. So I'm looking for three clowns. I'm training Pokemon with my buddy. I gave my Pokemon. They'll make the other trainer double ha doubly happy. So where would those uh, clowns be, if I remember? Yeah, three clowns. Not a clown. Nothing on you. I know dialogue is important, but sometimes, yeah, I don't believe those guys would have anything to talk about. But yeah, this is pretty much my first quest. Finding up three clowns within this city. Oh, three clowns. The questions will all have to do after all. Okay. Collect a coupon from each clown, then come see me. Okay. The clowns were af past him. I thought they were before. Let's work. Does a Pokemon grow by defeating others and gaining XP? Yes. Ding. You're absolutely correct. Pokemon grow stronger by defeating other Pokemon in battle. Some Pokemon even change into a different Pokemon through a, go through a process known as evolution. Here you go, your book attach coupon. Coupon one. All right. Go in. Let's see, here we are. All right. Yes. All right. 
coupon th oh coupon three all right i guess i went past him no i went to that i saw that clown that leads out where's this second clown Jubil nope Yeah, I still can't go there, so. Alright, where is this second clown? Would he be in the Pokemon Center? Oh. I don't know. Probably not upstairs. But, you always gotta check everywhere. Yeah. We're at 50 minutes, so... This is going to be a very long video, indeed. So that was clown three, no clown there. Clown two is all the way over here, wow. Just like Pokemon, do the moves of Pokemon also have types? Yes. All right, type dialogue, coupon two, I don't know why Clown 2 is all the way out here when Clown 3 was closer to Clown 1. That's weird. But no matter, I got the poke edge. 1, 2, 3, bravo! I say bravo! In return for these coupons, I present you this Pokemon watch. You received a poke edge. You can add apps on your poke edge to make it even more versatile. Please press the R button to try it out. Press R. Alright. Calculator, cash, Pokemon. Okay. I guess I'll keep it on my Pokemon for now. But let's keep going. Yeah. I'll probably end the video off right before going to Floroma Town. And then we can start next video up. Pretty much getting Mew and Jirachi. I just put my mouse to charging. Sorry, guys. But, yeah. Battle. Ember. Ouch. Fence curl. Alright. One last number. Level up. Two levels up. Alright. But you've learned defense curl. And Starly learns quick attack. Alrighty. All right, let's go. I do want to see. Oop. Yeah. Oh, I. I really wonder where I can make my Pokemon follow me. So. Oop. But I did see this Pokeball. Right. Oh. All right. I did see that Pokeball, so I'll be getting that. I do. I'll just ember this. Should be super effective. Or not. Hmm. Oh, it's super, it's super effective. All right. Yeah. That's what I thought. Because Badoo is grass type, so. Sinks and Shimshar level up. All right. Shinx learn charge. So, all right. Let's go. Let us go. What is Paralyze heal. All right. Who? Anything over here? No. All right. Ah. 
just battle this guy so I know don't have to battle him again. Youngster Tyler. Magikarp. Ah. <laughs> Magikarps are so easy. Uh, the only time I ever caught a Magikarp in a game, I did not use him until he evolved into a Gyarados. Because Magikarps can't do nothing. Can't do anything other till uh till they evolve into a Gyarados. So Yeah. And I'll take making it evolve into a Gyarados does take some time, so <laughs> true keep Well yeah. It took like it took me a while to evolve them, but like I got the Magikarp after I beat the game, so I had high level Pokemon, and I just, so, it didn't take too long, but just the amount of XP it took. Alright, burn by burn. Scratch can finish it. That'll do. But yeah, I'm going to end the game off, end today's video off, once I get to Floroma Town, and then next video I will be getting the Mew and Jirachi. Oh man. Another Starly. Ember. Oof. All right, scratch shall finish it off. All right, and then hopefully I can get mystery box active so that I may get Manaphy if I remember. Yes, it's Manaphy and that expires February twenty February twenty two. So next year, next February on that uh promotion. So hopefully I can get the mystery box open by then. Which I should. Just Ember. Boom. Oh what? Super effective but not a one hit kill. Stun spore. Paralysis. All right. Grow attack rows. Special attack rows. That'll do it. All right. Starly grew to level seven. <laughs> right now to ravage path so x the map indicates all right so after ravage 204 floroma town but yeah okay yeah so i pretty much have to go all the way around to get to orenburg city but uh, route 218, Canal well, City, that'll probably be later on. But yeah, I'm going to end this video off. Uh, there are boulders blocking the way in the cavern. I think a hidden move and a Poketex would be able to break through these. Hidden move? All right. So, R, if I remember, Bidoof has hidden moves. I know Bidoof can use Surf in Rock Smash. Found an antidote. Alright. So let's see the guidebook. If that can help anything. 
guidebook, use this, book attach, various, Celestic finger cursor, press A button to directly touch the screen, um, R to close, you receive new apps, be sure, alright. So, book touch. I have like zero clue on how to. Oh, I think those are like steps. So let me see if this kid has any words to make use of. There are boulders blocking the way inside. I think a hidden move in the Poketech would be able to break those boulders, though. Oh, not Pokedex. I want Pokemon. Check. All right. Those are moves. All right, so nothing of sorts. So I mean R. I only get sound, the Pokemon sound from that. Those are steps. So I'm not too sure where the hidden moves come into play. Oh. All right, Zubat. I'll just beat you. Absorb. Oof. Ember. Yep. All right. So <clears throat> All right. So I'm just going to head back to the city to heal up my Pokémon. And then uh I will see there's anything in terms of those hidden moves but that'll probably be for next video sorry i couldn't get to floroma town but literally there was so much dialogue in the beginning that that took up most of the time but yeah so i'll pretty much end the video off here by healing my pokemon so i will record tomorrow's video tomorrow giving a 24 hour gap so to say but yeah and then i will try and uh, try to figure out this hidden move thing it's it's probably something i'm not doing but yeah let me just uh get to be in front of the caves and i'll end the video off there all right save yes all right well this will be the end of today's video hope you guys enjoy and I will hopefully learn more about the Poketech. Have a nice day, guys. And that'll be all.